What's up Porsche fanatics? Will here with Renthusiast and I'd like to welcome you to my latest video. This one is on my Porsche 911 993. Car is a 95 coupe in polar silver with black interior, six speed manual. Um, if you have been around this channel for any period of time, then you know I've done a ton of videos on this car. This 993 is really what started my fascination uh, with air-cooled Porsches. So I have been in a bit of a 993 content mood lately, and I've done a couple of videos recently on the car. One of the videos covered some paint issues and some glass seal issues that I'm having with it. Another video I did covered the 10 reasons I love this car, but also kind of the one reason that I've been thinking about selling it. So this video that I'm doing right now is really kind of a roll up of those two videos. And here's what I mean. Number one, I'm having those uh, seal issues repaired because they are definitely posing a threat to the car, right? You start to get into potential rust issues. So like that's a non-negotiable, I gotta get that fixed. But the second reason that this kind of ties into the previous videos on this 993 is that I have decided what I'm gonna do with the car. So the question was, hey, you know, do I go ahead and sell the car and find a rarer color, a more exciting color, or at least a more interesting uh, car cosmetically, or do I keep mine and mod it? So here's what I've decided. And by the way, this decision was based a little on the you know fantastic feedback and insight and advice I got from viewers. So if you weighed in in the last video, I really would like to thank you for that. I have decided to keep the car. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is, you know, like I said, I'm gonna get the glass seals fixed, but I'm also going to go ahead and modify the car even more. I have set aside a budget of $10,000 to do this work. And what I'd like to do is involve viewers in my decision-making process to improve this car even more. So in the comments, if you have ideas for how I can modify this car even more, and maybe it's performance or maybe it's cosmetics, I would love to hear from you. So far, what I have decided um, to do is I'm going to replace the carpet in the car with something a little bit more unique, a little more interesting. Uh, I also, about six months ago, sourced all the parts I needed to convert the front bumper to a Euro turbo bumper, so I'm gonna do that. So those two items are definitely going to eat into that $10,000, but it still should leave me a balance to play with. Again, would love to have you play a role in that. So in the comments, if you have ideas for what I should do to this car, please weigh in. So I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'll be publishing new videos on this project as it unfolds. With no further ado, Let's jump into the video. Okay, Dave, so here we are with my 993, and I know that you've seen a couple of my recent videos on this car and how I have been kind of struggling a little bit about, you know, hey, do I want to sell the car? Is it exciting enough for me? And, um, you know, thanks to the feedback I've gotten on those videos and, frankly, conversations you and I have had, I've made the decision to keep the car. Excellent. And what I'd like to do is hire you to help me uh, make the car a little bit more aggressive. So, you know, what I thought I would do with this video is just kind of talk to you a little bit about the car and maybe some options that, that might exist for me to improve it. I think maybe we should start with the, um, you know, the seals in the back, the okay, glass sure. issue, yeah, because absolutely. that's a non-negotiable, but I'm gonna just kind of turn it over to you and tell me maybe what, what kinds of things can we do with this car? Yeah, well, obviously this sort of stuff, Will, is gonna be pretty straightforward. So obviously you've got a, you got a tearing and popping out seal here um, you know, and potentially, although I've looked down in here and I don't think your corrosion is really too bad in here from what I can see. I don't think this car has led too hard a life outside per se, but um, this particular seal, you can see that it's, it's deteriorated. It's no longer going to hold down into the little groove that's here in the window. That's, uh, that's an easy fix. Um, it's possible, depending on, I, I just got to pull this out. It may need the glass out. Yep. Um, if the glass is out, that's not a big deal. And typically for someone who's looking to have a glass uh, removed and reinstalled, you're probably going to be three to $350 just to have the glass work done on that window, in and out. So that okay. leaves a lot of room. Oh, yeah. You've still got the $9,700 <laughs> left, you know, roughly. So we've, we've got a lot of room. And the same on the front. And you can see here that your, your molding here has shrunk a little bit. Same kind of thing, though. These are the later car moldings, um, not nearly as difficult to work with as the earlier G-body cars and the earlier cars because these will just kind of pull out and they snap into another frame where the other cars, the whole glass had to come out and then the, 
molding itself, uh, the metal molding that was contained inside the window had to be reinserted into the molding first. So same kind of thing here, not a big expense, maybe three or $400 to get this squared away. So don't know if we'll have to do any glass pullout. I do want to look underneath this to see if we've got any corrosion or anything down in here, but I don't feel that, any telltale signs of that, no paint bubbling here or anything yet that's causing me any great concern at the moment. So I think you're going to get away with that. I think that's you're going good. to be okay. Right. And I know that you're mm -hmm. big on doing seat work oh, and I'd certainly yep. be open to considering yeah. that. So one of the things I think we were talking about first is, you know, because you're not taking anybody around in the back seat of this car, is let's, let's do a rear seat delete. We could put a little roll bar in the thing. There you go. Put a, um, you know, again, probably give you a little bit of stiffness. I don't think you plan to track the car, but in the event you did, that wouldn't, that would be okay. And you might, we could do something with a harness perhaps. We'll see. <clears throat> now, I would probably wrap it. If we're going to put a roll bar in it, we'll leather wrap it. Mm -hmm. um, and then now we get into the conversation of the front seats. And this to me, when we're talking about cosmetic stuff, there's really a couple of places to go here. Carpet is one thing. This carpet's actually in pretty good shape. It's black. It's, um, it's not really a bad shape carpet, nor are the side pockets. The rest of the, the interior is looking pretty good as far as I'm concerned. The, this, the side bolsters are very typical, obviously. Constant wear, in and out, in and out, in and out. They end up with that little sheen and shine after 30 years of people getting in and out and touching them. That's a personal preference issue as to whether or not you like this patina. But and I do. It, okay, I, I, I got to be honest cool. with you, I do. And as long as the leather isn't cracked down in here where, you know, I'm pushing on it, where I feel like at some point if I sat down on that, that I could split that crack right there because that would be waste. So I want to look at that a little more closely because the way some of these cuts are, they could be cut in such a way that mm -hmm. it's, you know, you're going to go to all the trouble of pulling the seats, yeah. uh, uh, stripping them, and we wouldn't want to put them back together if, you know, three or four months from now you sit down on the thing and suddenly you get a split right there. So we may have to do the, the bottoms. We'll see. We'll take a look at that. But if it's me and my car, I do an insert on this car for sure. Okay. I do some kind of insert whether or not you want to stay Porsche true to be a papita slash houndstooth, mm -hmm. which in a, a black and white would look outstanding in this car. The, but there's just all sorts of other things. I, I don't think you're going to go Pasha, as, although it's one of my favorites. There's also all types of other materials. And if it's me, I'm staying Porsche true, but I would probably uh, do a papita black and white insert into this. But we can discuss that. We can do different color uh, leather, something that picks up another accent color you might want. So how about door cards? You're going to have to do some modifications here based on the way the sound system is built in these cars. So strip away some of this stuff here, you know, strip the pockets, go to more of the, you know, the RS sort of minimalist door card is one way to go with just a simple handle pull and, a, you know, a simple handle or something like that. We could do that. Um, going to be your call, obviously. So down here where this fabric uh -huh. is. It's carpeting. It's the same carpeting. Right, so I it's... changed this carpet here. Mm -hmm. We'd want to do the same thing there. Nice, okay. Yeah, so if you decide to go with like a square weave carpet or something that's more retro for this. Yes. Like a really durable st uh, square weave wool carpeting, we'd strip those and do the same thing over there as well. Okay, so we're talking about this here. Yep, yeah. yep. Maybe that's as far as I want to go with that. And it could be. Could be. The the dash is fantastic on this car, especially, you know, a car with 100,000 miles. It's originally vinyl, so it doesn't suffer from... When you used to order these dashes with leather, all they would do is wrap leather over the top of mm -hmm. the originally vinyl clad dash. And what would happen is, is that the sun would be down on this and it would start to shrink the leather and either pull it back and just have it start cracking all over up in here, or certainly as the case with the old cars, it would start to peel all this stuff back. It would you know, rip this section of the, of the vent opening back and start to do all kinds of disgusting distortions and whatnot. So it takes a lot of work on that, but this has just got the original stock of vinyl dash and it's in really nice condition. So no worries there, I wouldn't no do money anything there. unless you wanted to change the color or you wanted to add some contrast nah. stitching or something like that. I do want to go with the Continental Radio. So the, the Continental Radio is basically um, Continental owns VDO, so it's the same people that make the, the, uh, the gauges for the car. And the Continental brand happens to be the brand that you buy when you want the amber lighting mm -hmm. on the inside. It's got a good look. It looks the part. 
It's reasonably inexpensive, has USB, has Bluetooth, has uh, all the features and functions that most people are going to want. Done. And it's it's not $1,500. Well, we talked a little bit about a Momo wheel, you know. And yeah. I, I got to say, I mean, I put this three-spoke in. I still have the original four-spoke. I like the ergonomic feel of that steering wheel. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it occurs to me that, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more hot hot roddish, a little more sure. outlaw. Sure. To go with the Momo. So yeah, we've been pulling. We've been pulling those out for sure, and doing a, a lot of guys just do the the, the prototypo, which is a good looking wheel. It has a lot of variants as well as to whether or not we do an Alcatara wrap, a leather wrap, you know. Um, but it's it's a very practical wheel, and you know your hands are in the right spots, and it's a, just a good feeling, good looking wheel that befits a classic Porsche of this ilk. So I certainly wouldn't have any objection to that. Some people object to giving up the airbag, but we've done this in several cars. We, we, you know, we pull them, we remove the airbag, and, um, you know, I mean, it's just one of those appearance and functionality questions versus the safety that might go along with the airbag uh, in the event of any, um, you know, issues or, or accidents. I am interested in potentially doing a little performance stuff, and so okay. what do you know about the Steve Wong chip? Well, normally, um, obviously, these cars have a lot of headroom in them when they are designed to be, uh, you know, an off-the-shelf roadworthy car, so there's definitely more performance to um, eke out of a car like this. Now, the Steve Wong products have been terrific. We've used them on a lot of cars. The, the kit, the chip, is not uh, super expensive. I mean, uh, in the relative scheme of things, I think it's easily uh, can put it, fit it into the budget very easily. What are we doing up front? So yes. what, I, what I did probably six months ago is I ended up buying the parts needed to do a, a turbo bumper conversion. And I have all the bits to convert it to euro, and so mm -hmm. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna do that. And, side uh, markers. We're gonna get rid of these. Little bumperettes here. Yep, so the bumperettes in an mm -hmm. ideal world are gone. I think that'll definitely make this car look yeah. a lot better up front. You know, of the things that you're going to do on this, I think that probably from an appearance standpoint, that'll be one of the visual cues from the outside, certainly. And I also think that it'll be one of the more expensive things, even though you already bought the bumper. Sure. Because the bumper you bought it needs a little bit of refurbishment. We want to make sure we get a good color match since you've got a nice metallic silver finish here. And, um, you know, but I think that'll, that'll look really sharp. The car's got a great stance to it already. You've already put terrific wheels on it. I think these wheels are much better looking than the Cup 2s that you had on the car. Um, the other thing I noticed as we walked around the car is that you've got a little bit of yellowing going on down on the rockers, those yes. that lower rocker. It's hard to catch in this light. Yeah, and you're not probably going to sure. be able to, but you've got some yellowing down there. But there's an easy masking line there. I think we can probably rough that up a little bit and just while we're doing the bumper, we can probably get that to blend a little bit better. Consider it done. Now, if it's me, I'm also looking at some graphics here and there, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, that's, this is me, not, yeah, not you. So maybe I'm not sure some, if you're uh, into a Porsche down script side. on the side or yeah. something like that. I think that's what you could do to uh, set this car off from, from others. Well, uh, one other thing that I didn't mention to you, but I've been kind of working on the side, I've got, um, Fister Stage 2 on this car. Okay, right. Love it, but you know, more is always better. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna swap out. I've been messaging with them. We're gonna swap out for a Stage 3, so I'll okay. get you to install that. Very good, we can do that, sure. Um, so sure. yeah, so hey, what I think we ought to do is just kind of keep this momentum going with this yeah. type of video. Yep. So you're gonna have the car, you're gonna dig into the glass seal stuff first, yep. so I'm leaving it here with you yep. and taking the turbo back. Thanks Very for good. lowering springs, by oh, no, the way. No, no worries, no worries. And, uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, I'm looking for, look forward to working with you. Good. Thank you for your due diligence on this, and I'll be back to capture the okay. progress. Okay, very good, thanks.